Hello everybody, fantastic to be speaking to you again. Um, I know this is a lot of live videos, but it's a great way of communicating with you all. Um, so the catalogs are on their way. Some of you are getting them yesterday, today, tomorrow and Saturday. By Saturday, everyone will have their first ever Viva MK catalogs, um, which is quite astounding because it was only four weeks ago that the whole inception of this project began, that the whole idea even came into place. So yes, some of you got your catalogs yesterday, many of you are getting them today, then tomorrow and Saturday. By Saturday, everyone will have their first Viva MK interim catalogs. Um, the ordering site, so you can actually place some orders, will be live on Monday. Now, many of you want to know who's delivering your catalogs. You don't want to know some very strange questions, don't you? What did I just say then? You don't half ask some very strange questions. You want to know who's delivering your catalogs. Well, I'm delivering them personally to each and every one of you. No, that's not entirely true. Um, your catalogs are being delivered by three couriers, TNT, Yodel, and Whistle. Just for the purpose of these catalogs, it will be three courier services. Your product deliveries will be by a company called Yodel, um, and they will text you two hours in advance of your products arriving. So you will always know that your parcel is on the way, and that will be Yodel. So genealogy, wow. That's been a hell of a manual process. Of course, many of you had your genealogy, many of you still waiting for it, but we're still working on that and getting it out to you. And it is a manual process and it's time consuming and it's ongoing. So please, please be patient. And always remember that this whole, co this whole concept, this business in its entirety was only launched on the 8th of June. So our progress has been phenomenal. In fact, when I say our, I mean all of us. Our progress has been incredible. So just bear with us, the genealogy is on its way. Of course, it won't always be manual and it won't always be time consuming because once the MLM software is loaded, your genealogy will be ready, readily available to every distributor that logs in through the distributor interface. And you'll be able to see your genealogy and the people joining it and communicate directly with your distributors through that software. So that's all coming, of course. But for the time being, it is a manual process. I had no other way of doing this than doing it in a manual process and doing it in the way we've had it step by step, slowly, day by day, but we're actually making progress every single day. You know, the catalogue you're receiving today, it hadn't even been designed a month ago. So, you know, we've managed to, with your support and all the team here, managed to not only create it, but get it printed out to you with order forms and with poly bags in about three weeks. So you'll have all those by Saturday, like I've already told you. Um, now, where it comes to genealogy, some of you have got actually got hundreds of people front line, front line to you, hundreds of distributors. Once the MLM structure is alive, alive, once it's live, you will have a chance to restructure some of your teams. Now, let me just clarify that before it's misconstrued because often I say things and yes, they are misconstrued. So let me just clarify exactly what I mean by that. If you have a hundred people frontline to you and you are the sponsor, you will be able to restructure those people that's most fitting for you and the structure of the MLM. That is only fair. What I can't allow is a downline to restructure their sponsor. No, that won't happen. Once you have a sponsor, that is your chosen sponsor. The sponsor can restructure. Of course, they'll do it with your consent, undoubtedly, but that's the only fair way to do it in a system that hasn't yet seen the new MLM structure. So we will allow that. We'll allow a sponsor to change the structure of their business. So don't worry about that too much at the moment, but we will allow that. Um, the MLM plan, that conveniently brings me onto the MLM structure because I did say to you that I would allude to what kind of MLM structure it would be. 
Um, it's going to be a uni-level plan. Now, for the networkers among you, and I hate doing that, but you know what I mean. For the networkers among you, you know what a uni-level plan is. It will be one that directly rewards growth. So it's a growth-related uni-level plan. Um, what else can I say about that? There'll be one value, it'll be called a CV. No double values like we've had before, no confusing configurations or equations. There will be one value called a CV. A CV stands for commissionable value. Every product has a commissionable value. Those products equal commissionable value points. Those points actually feed into the sales plan and work out bonuses and the reward structures. The plan ultimately will be about five levels deep. So you get five paid, five levels deep. And I know to many of you that actually means bugger all. But for the networkers among you, it is very important to understand it's a uni-level plan based on a CV structure, commissionable value, that every product has its own value and it's paid to five levels deep. There will be a lesser requirement if you are networkers for personal sales so i've reduced the amount you personally had to do have to do i've seen other plans and the plan that we used to have meant that your psg your personal sales group was always around four thousand pounds i feel that for a networker that's quite high because what a networker ultimately is good at is supporting teams, structuring teams, uh, recruiting people, teaching people, coaching people, and most importantly, leadership. And whilst you're doing all those functions, to always try and maintain a huge PSG is very, very difficult. So I've reduced that amount. So it makes it manageable for those leadership levels that will be networking the business. Remember, we're strongly retail driven MLM operation. Now the importance of that is we actually have product, it actually sells and we are an army of retailers but we are a network marketing business which means it has to have a substantial structure of MLM allowing the leaders in the organization to grow the business structure it in a way that will make bonuses um, worthwhile having and give us that stability that all MLM structures should have. Um, so just to go over that one more time, uh, not because I've got nothing else to say, but because I want it to be absolutely clear. It's a uni-level plan, five levels deep. There'll be commissionable values, so CV values to each product which accumulate to make the bonuses and make the rewards. And there will be a lesser requirement than we've ever had before in previous companies where you had to do 4,000 personal retail or in your sales group to actually get awarded the benefits or, or of your downline and your team. This is going to be more about leadership levels that have to do a minimum amount to maintain their business. Again, people ask, well, why isn't the MLM already ready? Look, right from the beginning, I said to you that we were going to launch this company in August with a Christmas catalog and an MLM structure. That's one month ago when we decided that. There was no system in the world that could have been ready any quicker. That's why I decided, let's give you a commission only model with the free interim catalog so you can go out and make some money, re-engage with your customers and show them that we have a constant supply of products. In other words, re-engaging yourselves with the business. I had no other option than to launch with a commission model because no software company that's worth having on board could create a substantial MLM structure quicker than that. So August, you'll see a Christmas catalog that will be launched alongside our uni-level, multi-level marketing plan. So at the moment, as you know, with this interim catalog that you're receiving today, tomorrow and Saturday, it will be a commission model and substantial of course because like i've always said retail is king and we are a very strongly driven retail organization i don't care what anybody tells me retail is the most important thing in any marketing structure if you cannot sell product you don't have a business in fact you're more likely to be a pyramid and we don't use that word so don't let me ever use that word again so, unallocated people. You know, we opened registration last Monday 
and we still have a number of people that aren't allocated. In other words, they didn't put a sponsor's name in, they didn't know a sponsor, they didn't want a sponsor, the sponsor they had, they really didn't care for, so they put no sponsor's name. Now we still have about 200 of those people. You know who you are, that you didn't put a sponsor's name in, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I asked you to do. Now, Think hard, see what's been going on. Check on social media, think about the people you know. If you can think of a sponsor, let us know because I'd still rather that you choose your own sponsor. Now, if we get to a time, and I did say at the end of this week, but I want to give you a little bit more time to think about who your sponsor should be because you might have since discovered that you like somebody, that you'd like them to be your sponsor. So please feel free to let the, um, I think it's descriptive services at vivamk.com know who your preferred sponsor is. If we get to a time, and I think it'll probably be the middle of next week, that you really can't decide who you'd like to have as a sponsor. No, you can't put my name, I couldn't sponsor anybody. But if you really can't think of who, then what I will do is to stay fair. People have asked, what am I gonna do with unallocated people? The only fair way to do it is to allocate people geographically by postcode. I cannot think of any other way because it would be unfair to just give them all down to one leg or one person. So I think the only way I can allocate unallocated people if they haven't chosen a sponsor by middle of next week is probably by postcode geographically. I cannot think of any other fair way. And I've always said to you that I want a level playing field. No one gets preference. There is no favoritism. I don't care who you you are, there's no preference. So I will allocate people, the 200 or so that aren't allocated, purely by the closeness of a postcode. I can't think of any other fair way to do that. Of course, in some postcodes, there might be a lot of people, but that's still fair. It means that I haven't chosen anybody over anybody else, so I don't want to be the kind of company that has those kind of favorites. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Everybody has got to be an equal in this business. Everybody has started from the bottom level of the organization. Nobody's bought themselves in. Nobody's commissioned a special level. Everybody has started an equal. Because like I've always said to you, we are the people's business. And if I want to hold that flag up high as a people's business, we've got to act like that. We've got to be like that. So we cannot have favorites. We cannot do favors for people. Whatever we do, we try and do it for everybody. And that's the only way to make a fair business and have what I regard as the people's business. So let me just reiterate exactly what's happened because there's some people on today that really don't know what's been going on and I keep, need to keep reiterating this. The idea came about four weeks ago. In June, I said that we would open for registration, which we did last Monday, and the results were phenomenal and they continue to be phenomenal. We recruited another 300 people since then, so the numbers keep coming in. So that was June. July, I said to you there would be an interim catalog that you would get completely free, which is going out now. Some of you are getting it today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Um, that was July for the commission only teaser catalog. And the purpose of that, like I've already said, to re engage your customers, to um, show you that there's a ready supply of products, but most importantly, other than re engaging your customers, to simply make money. You know, we're in this game to make money. I want people to make money. So the interim catalog was purely for that reason. So you could make money and show your customers that we can have a ready supply of products. So you're going to be doing that. August, I always said in August, there would be a Christmas catalog. I haven't given you the precise date, I will give you a date when I have more information, but in August, we bring out our first Viva MK Christmas catalog alongside the MLM plan, which I've already talked about. That was what I told you on the 8th of June. I have not changed that. It has stayed constant and it will stay constant. If there is ever a change because something hasn't gone to plan, because things do mess up, 
you know, things do go wrong sometimes, as you well and truly know, especially if you know me, things do go wrong and I do make mistakes. If that does happen and something goes off track, we will let you know. I will always let you know. So far, so good. Registration open, catalogs went live, catalogs went out, ordering site opens Monday and in August, as planned, and it is on track so far, we will launch the MLM structure along with a Christmas catalog, giving us probably the best year end that we could possibly ask for. That was the whole idea, to open up the business in time to give us the greatest end to the year that we could possibly, possibly have. And if we can achieve that, if we can achieve that with what we've done so far and the response I've seen from you guys so far, then we've hit our goal. And we will go into 2019 a very, very strong organization with huge potential and immense promise. And you know, the year that we've had and the year and things that have happened, I don't want to keep going over that because that is history. And I did say we'd leave it behind, but compared to the things that have happened, if we can end on that almighty high that people are making money, their overheads are lower because I want to try and cut down the costs that uh, you occur, that you're simply making money and we end the year on a high with a Christmas catalog and an MLM structure you actually understand, going to 2019 with a strong business, then do you know what? We have won. And if we can do that and maintain our promise, of being the people's business, giving you what you want, when you want it, then, you know, I couldn't ask for any more than that. You know, and I will always say this at the end of any conversation or call we have, that your support is what's got us to this position today. There is no way in this world other than the amazing people I've met here to actually collaborate and work with that we would have come this far. You know, it's you people that have been the encouraging force behind what we have achieved. And, you know, together, yes, we have achieved a lot. Together, we've actually come a very long way. Um, but the journey has only just begun. We're taking it at a week at a time. Of course, there's a strategic plan behind it. A week at a time, day by day, month by month. And I want to end this year, even though it's only July, on an almighty high, because that was always the idea, always the plan. So enjoy your interim catalog. Um, remember, three weeks ago, it was still sat somewhere on a design table. And today, most of you already have it and the rest of you will have it within the next 48 hours. You can go out, make some money, show the customers that we have a ready supply of products and that this is simply just the beginning. And remember, we are the people's business and I never, ever, ever want to change that. It's about the people, always has been, always will be. So once again, thank you for giving up your time and listening. You know, we'll keep you updated as much as possible. I hope you've got some information there to be getting on with. Undoubtedly, some of you will have questions that I haven't answered. And undoubtedly, some of those questions we are questions that I never even knew could be possibly answered because boy, oh boy, don't some of you ask some very, 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 very odd questions. Some are so odd that I can't even possibly repeat them, but you know who you are. So anyway, take care and thank you for everything. Enjoy those interim catalogs and we'll keep you updated on everything and um, have a great week. Thank you. Bye.